Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the last ever Ipsy vs. BoxyCharm. So I loved getting these boxes. This is the base box and the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, I believe. And they were both around $28, $29. They both had five full-size products and they were just so fun to compare. And we will never do it again because they're combining into one. And I thought I canceled this one, but apparently I didn't. And so I still got it and they're still combining it with this one. And I just hope I don't end up with two somehow. I hope they have that figured out. We will see. But until then, we will go in for our last ever Ipsy versus Boxy Charm. <laughs> Nothing's in the bag. Okay. <laughs> Here's the bag. It's rather empty. I kind of do like this bag. And I, I'm guessing there won't be bags anymore. I like the little gold handles and like the Greek looking picture. But for some reason they put nothing in the bag. I don't, I don't know what they're ever doing. So we have our card. I doubt it has anything, but let's see if we can find out what sort of chips go with your lipstick. No, apparently slay your arch enemies. That's not a good message, Ipsy. Okay. <sighs> If you've seen my videos lately, I am so excited about these. So I haven't tried this particular one. This is Facial Radiance Pads uh, from First Aid Beauty. So these are the, what I call, oh, the seal came off into the lid. What I call the Clearasil Pads. They don't smell like anything. The Elemis ones, they smelled really good. These ones don't really smell like anything. They were perhaps closest to smelling like the Clearasil. Um, I also have Soam pads, and I like those and the Elemis ones. So we'll see if I like these two. But I am excited. These are my new favorite face wash things, especially when I don't feel good and I can just like quick wash my face. Obviously not if I'm wearing makeup, but I'm usually not wearing makeup if I don't feel good. <laughs> okay. So our next item is oh, Beauty For Real and eyeshadow brushes. So at least they're going out with a bang, like I'm liking this stuff. So here's the brushes we got. We have the one that's double sided with the spoolie that I hate. I hate when they do that because then this is always in your cup. Like how am I supposed to store this? I hate it. But I like this shape. This one's interesting because it's bent, but they feel good. I like that they're like matte. That's like interesting. So there's item number two. Then we have Farah 18 hour liquid eyeliner. Whoop whoop. You know how I love <laughs> my intense liner. So this is in the shade Black Velvet and I will definitely be using this if I can get out of the box. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's just black. There it is on my hand. It's just, you know, felt tip pen eyeliner. It's bleeding a tiny bit, but not bad. So there's that. Item number four. What is this? Wander Beauty Sunkissed. And this looks like the other Wander Beauty palette we got that had similar theming, but it was a different one. This one says Getaway Eye and Face Palette. This is a tiny thing to have all that in it. Oh, but oh, one of them is kind of broke. This one's kind of wonky. But we do have a highlight, a blush, and a bronzer, and then four eyeshadows. But why did I wear long sleeves? Okay, I kind of love this. So here's blush, or highlight, blush, bronzer. The highlights, there you go, you can see it now. And then these are the four eyeshadows. Look at those shimmers. 
You could really just do an eye look with this. I would, well, you could use the highlight to kind of go, I always do the, I don't know, sort of early noughties white in here and up here, but you could use the highlight. I actually love that. And it's like travel-y, which is cute because this would be great for travel. Because then you have all those things right in one little palette. Apparently it breaks easy is the only downside. And our last item is another palette. Okay. I mean, they might be getting rid of Ipsy, but they did not disappoint on this last bag. Well, I guess they're not really getting rid of it, combining it, whatever. So this is Best Dressed Lids, Neutrals, and Bolds. Um, who is it by? Mally XO, or is that? I have no idea. I'm guessing that's it. Never seen this brand. Inside is brown, like it's opposite. Ooh. One of these is kind of squidgy. Oh, and I have one less finger <laughs> to swatch things because I touched boiling hot hot glue across this finger. <laughs> ripped off my skin, burned it so badly, and it's right on my knuckle. It's really bad. <laughs> uh, so that's no fun. But let's check out a few of these shades. I do like that there's so many different ones. Okay, not loving the formula. I'm trying to like get this on, but it's just so powdery. Okay, let's try a different one. The matte was better. The purple just looks gray. The blue's all right. A lot of them don't really show up. I am not loving the formula of this. So I can't say I recommend this brand. So that's a little bit of a disappointment. But overall, a fun assortment of stuff. I like the idea of two palettes. I just wish that one was better. I did get an add-on this month because they had this for $18. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Divine Blush and Glow Cheek Palette. I love Pat McGrath and I have to say a lot of it might be the super bougie packaging. So it's got the mirror, and then it's got the blushes stamped with the highlighter down the side. So we have, let's see, Desert Orchid, Nude Venus, Divi no, Divine Rose 3, Paradise Venus, and Sunset Nectar, I think. I don't know if I got those right, but... <laughs> They look so pretty. Uh, I love the pattern. I wish I hadn't messed up my... Okay, we'll go down this arm. Oh my gosh. Moving from that eyeshadow to a formula that's like actually good. I don't know why I'm spacing it so weird. It's probably because it's my left hand. Oh, and the highlight. Oh my gosh. Okay, like, I don't know what I was doing. It looks like I was drunk. But <laughs> these are the blushes. And down on the bottom is the highlight, as you can kind of see. And this is just a quick swipe. And you can see they blend. They show up. Oh, I just blended them all together into a sort of gross color. But other than that, don't blend them all together. Has the magnet. So pretty. Okay, so now I have to try to figure out if it will tell me the prices. Don't want to have to like go through the whole mess I went through last time, only to find out that one of them wasn't even my product. Okay, so that was BoxyCharm. Last month, BoxyCharm sent me something that was broken and also not supposed to be in the box. So, to compensate me, they gave me 2,050 Charm Room points.
points and then promptly close the charm room because they're not doing that anymore. They're with Ipsy. Thanks, BoxyCharm. That was super sweet. Okay, so our Wonder Beauty palette, which I've already got eyeshadow on. Okay, I'm not loving this textured case. Like, I like it in theory, but apparently it gets dirty really easily. This is $42. Our brushes, also $42. Seriously, if everything's $42. <laughs> I'll suspect something is amiss. Okay, our face pads, $36. Our eyeliner, 18, fairly standard. And our Mali palette, 45. So, theoretically, this is the most expensive thing or the most value in the box. And it's the worst. So, I don't know about the 45 for this until they work on their formula because it is awful. Okay, so total value MSRP for this box. $183. We'll see if we can get the BoxyCharm information. Who knows? Because their website is down <laughs> and they didn't put information in last time, but maybe they will this time. I didn't even get to pick anything. So I don't think, I don't remember picking anything. That doesn't mean I didn't do it. In either case, <laughs> we will get into the BoxyCharm box now. First thing we have is paper. Oh! This is nice. Okay, to round out our last non-Ipsy boxy charm, I don't know. <laughs> the theme is planet woman. So what is that? Venus? Isn't that the thing? Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. But, oh, information on the card. That's lovely. Okay, and then the card that says, oh, it's going to be great with Ipsy, even though we totally screwed you with our charm room points. Okay, so the first thing we have, oh, I believe this is mascara. And I was just saying how much I needed more mascara. And I'm opening now another one, but like what's the point of getting the box if I don't show you what's in the box? Like, so I do have to open it. So I will waste some mascara, which is why I was thinking it might be fun to do something silly with it. <gasps> Okay, I might love this brush. I really have been loving the spiky brushes lately. That's a fun shape. I don't, I don't know if I've even ever tried Il Maquillage. Like, I've heard of it, I've seen it everywhere. I don't know that I have personally tried it. So, we'll give that a go. Oh, speaking of comments, look at this cute ring that Marie sent me. She sent me the cutest package ever and I loved everything in it and I wish she would have let me open it on camera because it was amazing but I loved it anyway that's from her so excited anyway okay our next thing ooh, is a palette from Dominique and I have had a Dominique palette before and I do like the one I have it's like berries and cream I think something about berries Love the moments, you'll cherish the memories. That's what it says. And I opened it on the bottom. Oh, it says it on both sides. Oh, I kind of like this. This is different. It's like plasticky, but not like cheap plasticky. Oh, it's magnetic. Okay, I'm loving this. Oh, and it says it on the mirror. It has like one of those stickers on it, but you can see. And then there's the shades. Okay, and you can definitely, definitely get a look. <laughs> Trying to wipe off the old eyeliner, or the old eyeshadow. Okay, maybe we got most of it off. Oh my gosh! Look at this glitter topper. Oh, I did not expect that to happen. I have had so many glitter toppers and wow. Okay, that that will make you glittery. No joke. Oh my gosh. And look at these eyeshadows. The formula is really working. Looks like you could blend it. I should have used one of these brushes. But this is adorable. I love this 
It's so cute. I haven't seen something like that before. The eyeshadows are actually good. Loving, loving that. Okay, our next item, Aceology masks. Okay, I love face masks. They are amazing. How many are in here? Four of them, hyaluronic acid, intensive repairing, biodegradable mask. That's awesome. I love that. I'm very excited to try this. I love hyaluronic acid, and that sounds good. This is also usually a good brand. Okay, our next item is from Toy Factory. What the heck? They've had the weirdest brands. Maybe they're not weird. Maybe like everybody's using them, but I'm not on TikTok, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. They're serious with package protection. Okay, so apparently this is a Canadian company, which I found out as it took me a year to open the box. So the shade it looks like is Calabasas Glaze, and this is a smart gloss. My lipstick went like way darker than I thought it would. Maybe I'll try this over the top. I don't know what smart gloss means. <gasps> Maybe I won't try it over the top. That is a very different shade to what I'm wearing. Like a purple <laughs> and versus an orange. I don't like orange. Ugh. Let's put it right here. Oh, now I'm getting the glitter in it. Oh, it smells good. It smells like fruity. Maybe I'll just put it on. Oh, it's not sticky. I'm like using the viewfinder. Well, it smells good and it's not sticky. I really like that. Nice. And this one is KOA Life. And it's Mist Me Rejuvenating Toner. That sounds nice. I like the mists. And my Sunday Riley one broke. Ooh. Bougie. I almost said metal bottle. Glass bottle. Oh my gosh, what is with the packaging? Ooh, it's leaking a little bit. The mist looks good. It barely smells, but it sort of, it reminds me of pizza spice, like very lightly <laughs> of pizza spice. That is probably not any of the ingredients, and I am probably crazy, but that's what I think when I smell it. Interesting. So those are our five products. They did give us the card, which I promptly lost, which is good, because like I said, their website is just a link to Ipsy now. So our mascara with the wand I do want to try $27 and then our masks $59 I wouldn't pay $60 for four masks oh my gosh but I'll use them okay this adorable palette that I am in love with $28 still less than that useless one from Ipsy okay our toner that may or may not smell like pizza is $35 and our lip gloss is $35. Oh my gosh, $35 for a lip gloss? You can get lip gloss at the dollar store. I don't, I don't know about that. Okay, it's probably not as good, but I don't know that it's $35 better to get this one. We will see what our total value is. Value. 184. So they are like dead even. As far as the products, ooh, it is so close for me. I loved the products in Ipsy, except for that one eyeshadow palette. And I do enjoy all the products in the Boxy Charm, but they aren't quite as exciting. I mean, that's nice. $35 kind of taking the piss. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. If you think one is better, if you're just like glad they're combining, like one isn't better than the other. But it does make me so sad. I'm gonna miss this. I love the Ipsy versus Boxy, and I haven't found anything that I can like compare as well. 
And so I'm not sure what to do. If y'all know of like two subscriptions that are really even, let me know and maybe we could compare those. I don't know what to do with my Ipsy subscription. Um, if I should, since I'm not comparing it with anything, do the months where it like bumps up to something nicer, like the bigger box. Let me know what you guys want to see and I will try to make it work. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. As always, I would love it if you would subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.